Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. My name is Victor Bowles and I'm originally from Minnesota. I moved to Colorado last summer, halfway through middle school at age 13. The verse I chose for my confirmation, John 15 verse 5, has meaning because faith has helped me keep me grounded when I moved here. I'm learning a lot of new things, to live in a new place and make new friends. But one thing that has been a constant through the change, and that is God. God is a powerful Father and Creator of all things. He is present in every aspect of my life. I was baptized in 2004 in Minnesota. East Union Lutheran Church is a very small church out in the country. My godparents were my Aunt Julie and my Uncle Tom. Baptism was a choice that my parents made for me. I was baptized as a baby and I don't remember it. I'm glad my parents made the choice to have me baptized because it started my relationship with God. The fact that I don't remember my baptism doesn't matter. What's important is from that point on, I've had a special bond with God, and He's been looking out for me as I've learned to get to know Him. Two months ago, I went back to visit the church where I was baptized. I don't remember the place because we switched churches when I was still very young. It was special to visit because I felt a connection when I entered the church. My godparent, Uncle Tom, died in 2012 when I was eight years old. This was my first experience with death. His death made me feel sad, and I didn't understand it. My teachers were aware of it and prayed for me and my family. We switched churches because our new church, St. John's, had a school. I attended the Lutheran school for grades kindergarten through fifth grade. And because of that, I was at the church six days a week. Why do we celebrate Christmas? For Jesus' first name. Most of my friends were other Christians who attended church and school with me. We were able to worship in school, and the school taught me many things about Christ and who he is. Every Thursday, we had a class in church called Chapel, and the pastor would give a lesson from the Bible. Two months ago, I visited the church and school where I grew up. I saw some of my friends and got the chance to sit down with my former pastor. I, the Lord, your God, will go with you wherever you go. And he tells Joshua to be strong and courageous, and uh, certainly you have that in your heart, to be strong and courageous, and the Lord goes before you, and he goes with you. It was comforting to know I had a teacher in faith who knew all the changes I was going through, and it reminded me that God is a constant in my life. I moved to Redeemer Church in Fort Collins halfway through confirmation. It was surprisingly a very easy transition, and my new church is a place where I've made friends and feel comfortable. I had my first communion shortly after moving here. I was a year older than the others, but communion isn't about your age or how you look. It is between you and God. God isn't only present when you're at a church or at a Lutheran school. He is a foundation in every part of life. I trust in God to help me make good decisions, whether I'm helping out at home or playing in sports. When I lived in Minnesota, I played hockey, and in Colorado, I needed to find a new hockey team to play with. None of my new teammates attended my church or school, but my foundation with God and the Bible helps me know how to relate to people that might be different from me. The teachings of the Bible help me treat other people with respect and to be humble when I play my sports. I try not to be mean or draw attention to myself on the ice rink. I try instead to focus on being in the right place at the right time, to work with my teammates. After moving to Colorado, I've tried new sports. I joined my middle school tennis team. I've gone hiking and skiing in the mountains. Faith provides me with security. The Bible says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I pray to Jesus, and he helps me have courage and strength to try new things. As I move forward with my life, God will continue to keep me grounded. Confirmation is really just the beginning. It is the beginning of a deeper connection between me and Jesus. It is different from my baptism when my parents and godparents made the decision for me. Confirmation is the time when I accept Jesus by my own choice. I acknowledge the foundation he has made in my life this far, and I agree to keep growing through and with him. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing.